Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bomisetti. Today we'll see one of the SQL and Snowflake interview question that is, so if you see what happened, okay, so I'll write the problem summary. Okay, so this is my input. It is having one to 30 numbers are there. I want to display like this. Okay, so condition is what? So write an SQL query such a way that if multiples of three, so in the sense like what multiples of three in the sense like what? So three, six, nine, 12, 15. So these are multiples of three. I want to display as problem. Okay. In a simple fashion, multiples of five. So multiples of five in the sense like what? Five, 10, 15 like this. So multiples of five. Okay. So when we are multiples of five, I need to print as Kumar. Okay. In a similar fashion, one more condition I want to add. So multiples of three and five in the sense like what if see 15 can be multiplied by three and 15 can be multiplied by five. Okay. So in a sense like what for 15 and 30, what we need to put? We need to put as Pravin Kumar. Okay. One more time. So this is my input. I want to get this output like this. So problem summary is what? Okay. So instead of numbers, okay, there is some kind of like, so in place of three, in a sense like what? Multiples of three in a sense like what? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So this yellow color signal, I want to make it as Pravin. Okay. So multiples of five, I want to make it as Kumar. So five, 10, 15, Kumar. Okay. And one more condition is that, okay. So multiples of three and multiples of five, I want to print as Pravin Kumar. So in a sense like what? So if you see 15 is no, it can be multiplied by three and it can be multiplied by five. Okay. So when both are multiples of three and five, no, then the display, then I discuss Pravin Kumar. Hope this requirement is clear. Okay. Now, if you want to solve this requirement, you should have better understanding of the following concepts. Okay. So case statement. Remember one thing, if you want to handle any, any type of conditions, okay, we should go for either case statement or decode function. Okay. So in database, something is there. I want to handle any type of condition compulsory you should go for case statement. This case statement will be used regularly in real time project. Okay. So you should know about these things. Okay. Now the syntax will be case when condition one satisfies, then we need to display result one. Okay. In a similar fashion, when condition two satisfies, then result two, we need to display. In a similar fashion, suppose when these two conditions are filled, we go to the else block. Else block that is not but result. Okay. So when this condition passes, it result will be this result one with output. When, when condition two passes, result two will be the output. Okay. Now suppose like when two, when these two conditions fail, we'll go for else part. Okay. So this is the syntax. Okay. Case when condition one, then result. Condition two, then result. Okay. Then if no conditions are passed, it will go to the else section. Okay. Now we'll see one example. Okay. So see what happened in database. I'm having one table. In this table, this having name and gender two columns are there. Okay. In this, what are the columns are there? Name and gender are the columns. Okay. What I want to display? Okay. See. Name is as is, but what happened in gender? In place of him, I want to display as male. In place of him, I want to display as male. In place of him, I want to display as female. So what I said earlier, if I want to handle something like conditions, conditions compulsory, we should go for either case statement or decode function. Okay. So see what is the condition we need to write. So select case when gender equal to M, I want to display as male. In a similar fashion, when gender equal to F, then female. Okay, this is the condition. Okay. So in database, something is there. I want to display some other thing, then we should go for conditional statement. Hope this concept is free. Okay. Yeah, okay. No. Okay. Now what happened? Now we'll see one more concept that is mod. Okay. So it is used to return the remainder of a dividend divided by a divisor. Okay. So we'll see an example you can able to know. Okay. So syntax is what? Mod of dividend comma divisor. Okay. So dividend comma divisor. So what happened now? Mod seven comma two. So what I'm doing? I'm dividing dividing seven by two. So what is the output? Two six is two, two, two three is six. So output will be what? Remainder mm -hmm. will be one. So out when I put mod of seven comma two, it will give the remainder. Okay. So mod function will give what? It will give remainder of a value. Okay. So suppose you see seven comma two. Okay. Two three is six. So seven minus six, it will be one. So one will be the remainder. Okay. So if you know case statement and mod function, so our requirement can be easily understood. Okay. So suppose this is having the sample data. So one to 30 records of this, this is my table. It is having one to 30 records. Okay. Now we'll see this one in practical here. Okay. So now one more update is that what? Okay. From March 27th, a new PLSQL batch is going to start. Okay. If anybody are interested, please reach out, reach out to this number. Okay. So we'll see this one in practical. Okay. So, okay. This one in practical. Okay. Now what happened? Now see, this is my table. Okay. Select star from test data. Okay, so now it is having one to 30 members are there. Okay, now what happened? Our requirement, I will say one more time the requirement is that okay, so multiples of multiples of three in the sense like what three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Okay, multiples of three, I want to express Praveen. Okay, in a similar fashion, multiples of five. I want to display like 5, 10, 15, 
ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ థర్టీ ఐ వాంట్ డిస్ ప్లస్ కుమార్ ఓకే సో దిస్ ఇస్ మై రిక్వైర్మెంట్ అండ్ వన్ మోర్ థింగ్ ఇస్ వాట్ సో మల్టిపుల్స్ ఆఫ్ త్రీ అండ్ ఫైవ్ ఇన్ ద సెన్స్ లైక్ వాట్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ అండ్ థర్టీ ఓకే సో ఫిఫ్టీన్ అండ్ థర్టీ వాట్ ఐ వాంట్ డిస్ ప్లస్ రవీన్ kumar okay so see this thing we in this way so so if you understand the requirement you can able to easily solve any type of things okay now go see, see this thing now what happened okay so this is my table so what is it we need we have learned earlier case and more thing okay so select select call from test data okay now what happened case when mod of call comma 3 equal to 0 then i want to express pravin okay see what i got this requirement okay <clears throat> so when mod of so mod of so we need to put here end end okay see what happen instead of multiples of 3 so if see what i'm trying to say mod of 1 comma 3 it will be remainder will be 1 okay 2 comma 3 remainder will be 2 so 3 comma 3 remainder will be 0 okay so multiples of 3 what happened 6 9 it will be 0 when condition matches i want displays pravin okay in a similar fashion now i want to put when when column 5 equal to 0 then what happened when displays okay see what happened so instead of okay 5 multiplication see 5 10 and 15 20 25 30 what happened it will be displaced okay kumar okay kumar now what happened is see one more thing is that what so one more condition is what multiples of 3 and 5 i want to displace pravin kumar but if you see what happened so if you see this thing 15 and 30 i want to displace pravin kumar for this purpose what we'll write one more condition at the starting position okay so what is this thing so when when mod of column comma 3 equal to 0 and mod of column 5 equal to 0 then what we display then we display Pravin Kumar okay so see this thing. okay so what is the condition when condition also when mod of column comma 3 equal to 0 and so this is now what this is the multiplication of 3 and multiplication of 5 i am displaying Pravin to it. so this is multiplication of 3 only Pravin multiplication of 5 only this is Kumar so see this thing Pravin Kumar Pravin Kumar so see for 15 we need to get as what Pravin Kumar in a similar fashion for 30 also we need to get as Pravin Kumar okay now what happened for remaining records i want to display the same value so for this purpose what we should go for else concept else concept okay else we need to displace call okay see what happened now see what happened case statement say it, it is having inconsistent data types so in the sense what you see inconsistent data types expected core care go, but got number so if you see what happened this is what pravin kumar pravin kumar these are strings but what is call call is nothing but say number okay now i want to come i want to convert this string number into string how can you convert by using two care function okay one more time see this thing okay now it's working fine suppose when i remove this thing what happened okay now see what happened okay this is what pravin kumar pravin and kumar these are what these are strings and what about this is one this is what this is number okay now it's saying inconsistent data types okay it should have same data type. pravin kumar it's a string it's a string and it's a string but what about this else column this is what this is a number okay we can't able to convert number this thing okay we should have same data that's for this purpose what we are converting number into a string how can you convert by using two care function okay two care so two care like this we can able to get okay now see this thing heading is not good looking we should go for what concept we should go for which statement we should go for column alias okay new column okay so this is nothing but say column alias okay one second okay we need to write at the bottom okay so at the end of this end we need to write this thing so see this is the column okay so we can able to mention here so we can able to put here old column 
okay see old column so this is my input column and this is my output column okay so multiples of 3 multiples of 5 both multiples of 3 and 5 it should be 50 okay hope this requirement is clear okay if you try to solve this type of use case you know like what happened you know, like logical thinking all this will get improved okay hope this requirement is but if i want to solve this requirement you should have better understanding of the following concept like case statement mod function and column ideas hope this is clear okay thank you for watching